¿Cómo están ustedes hoy? How are you today? Are you ready for animales? I am. Are we ready to pray? Get your carpeta out, the onions, and open it to your oración. Today we don't do uno, we don't do dos, we do tres, tres. So let's get ready to pray, find tres, and we're going to say, Dear Holy Father, here we go. Querido Padre Santo. Gracias por tu amor y misericordia. Gracias por tu Hijo Jesús y por la salvación que nos ha dado. Ayúdanos a servirte en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Let's do it again. Querido Padre Santo, can you say that? Gracias por tu amor y misericordia. Gracias por tu Hijo Jesús y por la salvación que nos ha dado. Ayúdanos a servirte en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Okay, read the English with me. Dear Holy Father, thank you for your love and mercy. Thank you for your Son, Jesus, and for the salvation that you gave us. Help us to serve you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Did you celebrate Easter? Was it fun? Did you remember how Jesus died for your sins? and rose again so we could be with him, that he's alive and we can go to heaven now because he's forgiven our sins. Look at Primero one, uno, nueve, your verse, First John 1, 9. Are you ready to say it in Espanol? Repeat it. Si confesamos nuestros pecados, if we confess our sin, el es fiel y justo, He's faithful and fair. Para perdonar nuestros pecados. To forgive our sins. To limpiarnos and clean us. De toda maldad. From all evil. All our wickedness. All our <coughs> wickedness. Si confesamos nuestros pecados. Él es fiel y justo. Para perdonar nuestros pecados. Limpianos de todo mal. Very good promise from God. That's why he came to die for us, to forgive us our sins. Isn't that good news? Wonderful news. Okay, now we have to go to our cantos. And find your new canto about the gato and the perito. And you find your new song I had sent to you. I'm trying to look for mine. It has a Pato on it and the gato on it. And I colored mine. I don't know if you colored yours or not. I hope your mom's helping you put your songs back in your binder so you can find them when we need them. So get your new song out yet. Yeah, well, actually, this is the third time we sing it, but we are going to sing our animal song. Okay? Gato. Cat. Gato. Cat. Gato. Cat. Pin. My little nieta, my granddaughter was here. I just had my serpiente today, so he's kind of a big one. But a little <coughs> colebra was is a little tiny more garden snake. So um, anyway, we have a, a bigger snake today. But let's sing it. This was a say it. This is the perro. This is a serpiente. Pajaro. This is like a little parito. This is a pace. He is, somebody came with him today. This is a tortuga. Do you like the tortuga? I like my tortuga. I wish I was in the classy because I'd let you pet him. And this pato got another pato. He has his little friend today. 
Who is not in the song? A conejo. He was here. He's new too. A conejo. And the gato. There's the gato cat. Okay, we're going to sing it again. Here we go. you to get out your homework find the homework that you did you did a word search can you find your word search here is oh you know what I forgot about this little guy this is an ormiga you get to do a, a paper with an ormiga in just a little bit a little well this is a grande ormiga he's supposed to be just an ant isn't he a wild looking ant he came from España I bought him in Spain so they made these little things to sell for some dinero, for some money. Okay, get your homework out. Here we go. Did you find all these things? Little pace. Uh-huh, see? Cabra, cabra, goat. Gata, because it's a late girl, girl cat. Serpiente, he's right here. Cerdo. Let's see, I have a cerdo around here. Come here, cerdo. Here you go. Let's see if you can oink for these people. Can we oink today? Are we going to oink? Let's see if I can get you to oink here. No? This is George. Okay. There you go. You try again? There you go. Thank you, Jorge. There you go, George. Okay, you can sit up here by Pato Duck. That would be nice. You okay there? Let's get your arms straight. There we go. And let's see. A caballo. A caballo is a horse. And conejo. He's sitting right here. And did I get them all? A perro. Here's my perro. Muy bien. I think we got a vaca. Oh, I think my vaca is here. Come here, vaca. There you go, vaca. And I didn't have a cabra. I just have a little cordero. Or you... A little lamb is a codero, or if he's big when he grows up, they call him uh, oveja. But this is my little cordero. And there's the mama vaca, vaca right there. See? So I hope you colored it very pretty. I want you to color it nice. Don't just go, I got it like that. That's not nice. That that you want to look nice. Mrs. Robbins, Senora Robbins, she works hard. I color my homework. So it would be nice if you colored your homework. Okay, so then you have piñata to put together with all these colores. So I'm going to move some of my animales off for just a moment. <coughs> just, we're going to have to come here. We'll go to off just for a little bit. So I can bring up my toro. Here, toro. My bull, my little bull. I bought my toro a long time ago. Come here, toro. And I just could not fill it up. It's supposed to be filled up with dulces in the back candies up here. But I could not, and Carmelo's, but I couldn't make myself do it. Look, isn't he, his gorgeous horns. I just couldn't, because if you fill up a candy of piñata, then they beat it up and break it in pieces. I just love my little Toro too much. So I still have my little Toro. I think I'll just keep him. I can't stand to have kids beat him up. So this is a piñata. You see how they color Here's verde and morado, amarillo. That's why how pretty it is, anaranjado. And there, let's see, negro for up here with his eyes and his horns. So, did you color it right? Are you ready? This had to use rosado. So, here are the horns were rosado and part of the nose and then the tail. Did you do it right? And then... Going down, the zero was the blue. Three, only three. Oh, here's another blue. And two little feet. The little uh, hoofs were blue. Then, let's see. We can do dos. Two, dos. One dos here. Two dos there. And two more dos there. And uno. One verde here. Two verdes there. Rojo. We had rojo was just the ribbon. 
Just the ribbon, nothing else. Just the ribbon around him. And Amarillo was every, okay? Amarillo up here, Amarillo there, Amarillo the legs, Amarillo there. Morado Cuatro was here on his head and down here, Morado. And I think we got them all there. Did you do it right? right? Does yours match mine? I hope it matches. Did you look at it? Were you careful? I hope it matches. I hope you did a good job. Tell your mom, send me a little note. I got my homework done, mom, grandma. A uh, mom, excuse me, might be a grandma too, or uncle or aunt. Give me an email. They did their homework. Second grader, my darling daughter, my darling son did his homework. So let me know. Now, while we're doing that, we're gonna do a quick review. Can you remember, what did you call that? Did you say cerdo? Or to, also it's called puerco in some places. Did you say cerdo? Did you remember it? Okay, maybe you can remember this one. What did you call that? Did you say pato? I hope it's pato. What about this fancy little thing? This is the cutest little cat ever. What did you call the cat? Gato! Did you get it? And here comes the horse. He's prancing away, this thing. Caballo, caballo, caballo. Maybe you got this one. Serpiente, la serpiente. This one, what goes guau guau? He is what? He is a perro. Do you remember the cow? What was the cow? Hmm. It was a vaca. And what was this? Whoops, I think I showed you already. Did you see it? Pace. Okay, and a kind of new one yet. He's a little, what is a rabbit? What was the little rabbit? Let's bring you back up here. What? You're kind of new yet. Conejo. Conejo. And this was new yet. A goat. He's a cabra. Okay, let's do it again. I'll give you, I may be going too fast. So here we, let's do this again. Is this a vaca or a cerdo? I hope you said cerdo. Is this, uh, is this a caballo or a cabra? Did you say cabra? I hope so. Is this a, is this a conejo or is it a gato? Conejo! Is this a cerdo or a pace? Did you say pace? Pace. Is this a caballo or a vaca? Caballo. Did you say vaca? Si. Sí. Is this a gato or perro? Did you say perro? I hope you said perro. Okay. Is this a pace or serpiente? Did you say serpiente? Is this a vaca or caballo? You better get this one. Caballo. Is this a perro or gato? Gato. Cool looking little one. All right. Okay, and is this a pajaro or is it a pato? Is that a pajaro or pato? Hope you said pa pato, pato, pato. Muy bien. Let's take a look at what you're getting into. So you got these animales and we're going to color them real pretty like some of you color extremely well. Make them real pretty. We got a few new ones. There's a gallo. For some reason, doy gracias por los animales. I give thanks for the animals, which I do. I love animales. They put them all in plurals. So perros means two dogs. Vacas, although they drove, drew, they just drew one. They means two cows. Pajaritos, little birdies, little birdies. Cerros, the piggies. Caballos, serpientes, ranas. Sapos are more like toads. Some places they have frogs, but most of them are ranas. Go, uh, gallos, the roosters, las ovejas, 
a sheep, tortugas, turtle, los peces means more than one fish, even though they just made one, uh, two fish, los gatos, and then los perros. So color them pretty. Take your time. Do, do a good job. Make it real pretty. I have to work hard. You need to work. Make it pretty too. Then the second page, you have six words up here, and there's a lot of nice little things to color. Please color it. Color it pretty. And these are people's names. Guillermo, William, Anita, Linda, Enrique. Enrique is the word for Henry. Carlos, okay. And Lucilia. So those are all the things they have. You will get the word tiene. And they have these animals. So you have to look. Who would play with the yarn? You would say a cat. Do you remember the word cat? Well, it says gatito. Oh, that must mean a little cat, kitten. So you have to write right here, little kitten. Anita <coughs> tiene something in the agua. What is in the agua? A pace. And they've got a number here. Linda tiene something that has a zanahoria. Who likes zanahorias? This is the new one. Conejo. Here we go. Conejo. And Enrique tiene un something with a long leash on. Who would need a leash? That would be the Pero. And Carlos tiene something in a cage. Who needs to be in a cage? Who do you think should be in a cage? That would be, that would be a little periquito. Down here, periquito. And Luc Lucia <coughs> has something that needs a kind of aquarium, but he has a lot of sand too. And that would be the little tortuga. So fill them in. And then you'll say what the word, a pet, the word for pet will be spelled in the little circles. That little, you'll get the word for pet. It starts with an M. And then as a review on the back, we're going to get to color and count things. Here are the words from one through 10, I believe. Oh, they're one through 10, but there's uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Only seven pictures. So you're not going to use all the numbers. You've got to be muy inteligente. So some of the numbers won't be used, but here you match up these numbers here. So you can look at them, then write the Spanish word. Don't just put uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, and write six. You write, what do you write for six? You say, come on, what do you write for six? Seis. So you write seis there. Okay, write in Espanol. And uh, they have the words what these are. These are molinas, windmills, velas. And those are little candles. Botellas de venamo. This is poison. Bottles of poison. Mofetas. I don't have a mofeta. A skunk. I don't have a pet skunk. If you have a pet skunk, that's good. And here's my hormiga. There he is. And there's lots of hormigas here. And balones. Those are big balls, like soccer balls and basketballs. That's a soccer ball. And then we have vispas. I don't have any avispa either. Those are wasp things. So count them up and um, put them in the right place. Okay, quickly. We're going to count real quickly. So you remember this number. These are all mixed up. Ooh, <coughs> are we ready? Okay, quince. What is it? Nueve. Ocho. Siete. Oh no, did you get that one? Okay, what's this? Seis. Si. What? No, once. Cuatro. Doce. What's this one? Trece. Dos, dos, dos. Tres. Can you get them before me? Cinco. See if you can beat me. Are you ready? Yes. And. Torce. Muy bien. You work on your numeros, work on your colores, and work on your new animales. Let's see if you can real quickly go through the colors with me. You should know these. Actually, I'm not going to give you colors. I'm going to let you look at these little uh, 
hands they here, these little people. What color is he wearing? Do you see azul? Do you see rojo? Si, sí. and he has zapatos. What kind of cafe or marron? Okay, that's a nice little niño. What does he, what colors do you see? Mostly azul. Then he has sandalias. Those are cafe. He has a little goat up there that looks rojo. Here's another Omar from China. He's wearing gris and negro. <coughs> gris and negro. Here's from Africa. He's wearing amarillo. Kind of different outfit there, isn't it? And here's this one's from Scotland. Aye. He's wearing verde, and rojo, and blanco. And look at zapatos. Can you see his zapatos? Oh, Mrs. Rouse, where's his zapatos? Close to your toes, zapatos. They're your shoes, negros. Zapatos negros. And he's got a cute little gora on his hat, on his head. Gora. See, sí. those are the colores. It's muy bien. Okay, going to have uh, write some things up for your parents. Uh, you'll find it on the website. And until then, this, oh, by the way, this is my toro. Can you say toro? Conejo. Si. Sí. Pace. Tortuga. Hormiga. This is a little loro. That's a pajaro, a, a parrot. And also another pajaro. That's a loro. Serpiente. And perro. You can come back here. That's my little pato, the baby pato. And you are a little cordero. A baby sheep. And the vaca. He needs to come back here. Come here. <coughs> my little cerdo. George. Jorge. And come on, gato. You need to come back up here to say goodbye. Adios. Come here. My otra pato. Okay. So we all say adios, mis amigos. <laughs>